Good morning from Washington State, baby! Woo -hoo. Today, the plan is to go to a place called Shelton. Uh, it's 100 kilometers away. I'm now just making my way down this river road. Look at this. This is what you can get in the States if you just get off the beaten path a bit. Oh, so good. Bit of trouble with the police. Uh, my host lives at the end of this road, Donna. Apparently, she's made some bread for us, which is amazing. Well, not just for me, apparently, she made bread for another cyclist as well. So, ah, looking forward to meeting some people. Hello, Pooch. I've done just short of 100k. Right, here's a question I'm on 99.46. I'm not going to go any further than I need to but would you? Or would you just let it sit there on 99? Or would you cycle a little bit further to get it to 100? I'm of the thought that it makes no difference whatsoever if you're going to do that we are in different places nothing wrong with that it's just not me don't care enough That evening at Donna's was unlike any other warm showers host I've been to so far, as I wasn't the only cycle tourist there. Brad and Sarah were also cycling south down the Pacific coast. There were two super cool Australians who were travelling light and fast, but they still Box took it easy. Purpose always fleeting. I poise questions to the ceiling like an answer gonna come Truth is too revealing, life is easier concealing All emotions to the start on your heart going numb I should be in the drive more, I just want to feel alive more I feel hurt all the time, but I can't see straight I've been running on the freeway, till I get blinded by the headlights They go past me, I see the last me, that I ever will be and That got me asking, if living this lightly Stepping the right thing Or should I been a little bit more focused on the place that my feet needed to go And as they go past me I see the last me that I ever will be And that got me asking If living this lightly Is that been the right thing Or should I been more focused on where feet wanted to go If I die right now a lot I'd have a few regrets I just spent more time out biking instead of smoking cigarettes Wish I worked more on me Ooh. Struggled to keep up with Brad and Sarah there Their likes bikes be light and I'm not. My bike is far too heavy. So they're just ahead of me, I can see them still. Just thought I'd just slow it down a little bit. Just going past the Washington Correction Center. That's a big old prison, State Penitentiary. One of the great things about cycling with Brad and Sarah was how we could all go at our own pace and we'd stop and eat together at an agreed spot. We made an effort to find the quieter roads through Washington State, which made the world of difference to our enjoyment of the ride. It's been a really wonderful day cycling with these guys. Uh, two Aussies, absolute legend. They cycle fast though. This is my first hiker biker night because there's three of us. We've all paid five bucks each, basically, fifteen dollars for this one site. So. Uh, the key is to find a group of people if you want to get it cheap and stay in these uh, these campsites. Nice little campsite here. I'm going to get a shower, eat my pasta and pork, and then get myself to bed. Washington State, one more day left. Let's do it! Morning. Arctic Park. It was a really good little night that with the two Aussies, Brad and Sarah. 
they've gone up ahead because uh, they are quicker than me on the very lightweight bike setup. We've set ourselves a little bit of a meeting point about 30k at a McDonald's where they're going to get coffee. Today is going to be my last day in Washington State, which it's been a good stay, good start to time in America. Washington State isn't all that long down, particularly when you compare it to the likes of California. Washington State last day, let's enjoy it. As I arrived in the McDonald's, I met what was possibly the most energetic and enthusiastic bike tourer that's ever been created. Dom is from Canada and was also making his way down the Pacific coast. I instantly took a huge liking to Don and I agreed to join him for the day. So I've just been cycling along and I found another cyclist. <laughs> Do you want to say hello to everyone? Hi, how are you guys doing? This is uh, Don and he's riding to San Diego. So be right on. There's going to be a good old big group of us riding south. Sweet, <laughs> sweet, sure sweet. We'll keep... Nice part is, is the sun's on the right side. So if it was over there... So we're going to get sunsets. Yeah, oh yeah. Coastal yeah, sunsets. The sunset. Yeah, yeah, man. Oh. A small little photo on the fly. Oh, no, stop. Definitely stop. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. You don't mind? I never mind. which I don't know, that looks like probably a good three kilometers. It's a fair stretch. So we're going from Washington State into Oregon. To Oregon, Astoria. Farewell Washington State. It's been nice knowing you. Right on. <laughs> Let's do it. Ah, loads of space. This is my third American state, Alaska, Washington, and now in Oregon. Woo! Woo! Bridge is tough, but it is pretty. Welcome to Oregon. Here we go. That sounds nice. It's very good. We'll go for that, please. Do you want medium or large fries? <laughs> Don has been an absolute legend and he's bought me a McDonald's. <laughs> Seen as I, I have taken the mick a little bit and got an artisan McChicken meal. <laughs> but I did make him lunch, so it's all, all fair in love and cycling. <laughs> <laughs> what a great time, man. <laughs> Thank awesome. you. Thank you so much. So this is second McDonald's of the day. <laughs> <laughs> How far have you done today, though, Don? No. Oh, right now it looks like about 145. We still got another 10k to go, That's so good. close to 160 by the time it's done. That's strong. 100 mile day. Yeah. That is a 100 mile day, fueled purely on McDonald's and coffee <laughs> <laughs> and soda. And ice cream. That is massive. That is huge. They don't have super size anymore, which is a shame. <laughs> <laughs> I spent eight days cycling from Vancouver through Washington State to Astoria in Oregon. I covered just under 600 kilometers, wild camp twice, paid to camp once, and I was hosted for four nights by three separate hosts. I arrived in Washington slightly glum due to the traffic and weather but I left absolutely buzzing after cycling with Don. I had a feeling Oregon would have even more sociable cycling to come. Hello there, Adam from the future here, giving a little recording from New Orleans. Bit of music playing in the background. That is New Orleans, see that? Pretty cool. 
wanted to say thank you to my latest patrons, which are Bob and Robin Bakey and William Welsh, you absolute legends for supporting this journey. Thank you so much. And yeah, I've recently just made the decision that I am going to continue cycling down through Mexico and I'm going to keep going all the way to Argentina. The last few days I've been, the last week or so, I've been thinking about going back to the UK, but I've decided not to. I am going to be heading all the way down. So we can look forward to that soon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.